Hello comrades, it's Premier Rever, and I am back again, looking down, well, of course, at the city of Neuve Revergrad. And we, uh, we are actually ready to go with our supplies. We have some sports, we could build some more right here. We have our pub and our, uh, I don't you know what we don't have, we don't have our cinema done yet. Well, we, I'm sure we could go, but we're really not ready for another reason. I'm concerned about at least some of these people getting down to what they need. Now, these guys could probably make it, at least some of them. But if I start moving people in here, there's nothing to stop them from spreading. And if they spread up to here, then they're not going to be able to get to this loop of the rail to be able to get down to like this train station. So we really need to get the rail in here before we go too far. And yeah, we're, we're just falling behind on the rail construction, I guess you could say. And I think part of that is because I've been trying to build, you know, like using this one. We finally got this guy going a little bit. Well, he's going, I should say, not maybe just a little bit, but I was going to uh, maybe get a couple more of the vehicles up here. Except I'm sort of also trying to keep an eye on, you know, he's using up a lot of gravel. And the steel, you know, we're like out of steel in this. So this is sort of like grinding construction to a halt. And I sort of pictured that this would happen. Like, you know, I didn't expect this to go particularly well, especially without having like train loads of steel. <laughs> steel and gravel are the two things that they really eat up when they're laying tracks. But one of the things we can do is eventually get these guys doing doing something else, right? So so we'll see. Now the other thing we could do is bring more trucks over to here. And yeah, that that would help alleviate it a little bit. Now if we come down to here and look, the other problem that we have when we look at this one is we're really just sort of holding our own on the steel here. It's actually like probably a little bit down since the last times we looked. So I'm not gonna, you know, like part of the problem is we have this, yeah, I can ramp up the construction, yet I'm just gonna run into problems elsewhere. Now this has been a bit of a pain. I'm trying to get this completely done. Yeah, see, we got a little bit more there. I don't know which way these guys are gonna go, but then, you know, we'll have to construct this bridge here. But that'll get, that'll mean that like all of this is pretty much ready to go. And we could probably start bringing supplies over to here right probably could even start doing it now though i don't want them running into the construction guys now another problem is because this route is available to them and they can go out this way they're tending to go this way and I, it, this is where the waypoints would really 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 be nice i don't i doubt the developers watch my video but if anybody does that knows the developer say river wants waypoints in the worst way because i want them to use this track necessarily not necessarily always cut through here right now these guys aren't cutting through here but only because they can't get to there right like there's no path over but one of the things i want to do is is make it yeah we might just have to instead of being doing oh well, yeah see this is going to be see this is what i'm talking about this guy's probably going over to now where are you going to now, you're not going there to get there, are you? Yeah, what are you working on? Nine. That's eight. That's two. Man, I, what are you? Okay, let's see. Let's try it this way. Oh, uh, you're working on the other side. Okay. Oh, because you got a little bit of electrical track left to do. Okay, fair enough. There we go. Yeah, and all this is done with the electrical track, so that's good. So it's truly completed. Not that we have electricity to it yet, which is sort of another issue, but you know, we're going to have to electrify some more tracks in and out of there, which is a whole other thing. <laughs> so it's something I'm not quite prepared to do right now. There's something else I want to do is a little bit higher priority and I wanted to show you this. Now, of course, this has been jammed up constantly. And what I want to do is if we come in here and look, see all relate, look at this. It's just crazy how many of them are going to that one stop versus this one. 
So I've also plopped in another building since the last episode here, so we should be getting to work on that. Yet we're already constructing it a bit. So what I would like to do is figure out, you know, who's going here and switch some of them over, like the construction offices. You know, maybe for now we just take the construction offices because they'll be easier to switch, right? So we're going to take any construction office that seems to have people there. Yeah, resources, you come over to here. So this is a large bus platform, should be a little bit better, but if we, yeah, there we go, see, look. We just have this steady flow of people into there. Yeah, let's make sure, did that take bus platform? Yeah, I don't even see it. Electrical town bus plat, okay, so it's just bus platform, yeah. It gets confusing when you don't see it too. Okay, so like this one's getting its thing there, now let's, uh, this guy should be switched too, I'm sure. Oops. Yeah, a lot of people are, a lot of construction officers are getting their people from there. So we're going to at least take a few of them and switch them over to this one. Let's see, who else would? This guy would. All right, let's see if that's enough to alleviate the pain. And then what we should do is, does this guy go into any place? Yeah, let's take you. Yeah, so you're just going to send your people to the bus platform. This, These will get built. These are just like instantly filling up. And then another reason I think we were having... Yeah, I don't wonder if that's even enough, but we'll see. They might... Let's just see. Well, eventually somebody should go there. The other problem we have is we ran out of teachers. So if we come over here and look, we have a lot of like adults in there. So I think the combination of, I don't, I guess I just forgot to check this one to see if they had the teachers in there, in there. But now, you know, we should have pretty close to the maximum and yeah, hopefully that, hopefully that helps. <laughs> so then hopefully the second bus stop. Now, eventually, you know, we'll stop relying on electrical town so much. But the, another problem that I want to mention is we are out of the range. I started building here with the firehouses. And look, we're out of range for like these power plants. And that really kind of scares me um, to the point where I'm thinking we might just need to get like a bus in here with people. And you know, I think that's, hopefully they'll make it. I, I don't know, if we take a look at, let's see, where are they? Well, see, we have a bus platform here. I'm wondering if we can't, can we, yeah, let's see. This this doesn't have a list of the all related vehicles. Yeah, okay, so the Mars, where are you going from? Farming ski. Now, can you get there? See, the problem is, yeah, no, I guess we could get, here's a question. Let's go see. I don't know if we have an extra bus, but we're going to need a bus to come from somewhere. Yeah, I don't, we don't need a big bus. Yeah, so let's just come here and let's get one of, yeah, that little bus is kind of slow. Let's get a little bus. We don't need one that carries a ton of people because it's just for the firehouse for now. 90. Isn't there like a really fast? Yeah, seven people. Yeah, why would you go with this one? That's weird. Like this one costs 6,000 less. All right, we're going to get the little blue bus there. And I just want to see... Yeah, we'll go, we might as well go from farming ski, I guess. So we're starting to overload farming ski some too, I think. Let's go back here. Can we just, can we, yes, we can click right on the firehouse. We don't actually need a bus stop to send people there. That's good. So there, so we should get some employees up there. Let's start him. Now, hopefully it's a steady enough stream that we have fire coverage, right? 
and then that way we can continue with our construction even though we don't have any steel over here so not having steel over here yeah it's definitely a bit of a problem um let's see what vehicles do we have coming to here can we see yeah see i took let's see that's boards yeah it looks like we might only have one anyhow we'll just get this guy off to the side so we can copy his his thing and let's just get you know should we drag the steel from here i guess I mean, we're doing okay with steel here and i think it's you know probably the same as going from the other place where is it where is he going food factories um no you're, you're not you're not the guy you're just going back and forth yeah that's that's not the right one but let's get two more open hauls and i'm going to have them haul down from here you we're kind of fooling up with stuff there open haul open haul there it is yeah next page two of these guys and i oop. click on them this way let's just set up the roots so I want you to come here and I want you to come here and then I want you to go well, I guess it doesn't really matter I don't want these guys waiting yeah just come right in here come right in here and we'll just get them to do steel right start good so there's one like I said for now I'm not gonna have them wait because you know, hopefully we'll remember that we did this but yeah that that'll cut down on our steel <laughs> but anyway so we got the other thing I did off camera by the way too was just get a, a covered haul to go from here to sit in one of these stops. Now the other thing we could do is have them come into here, but yeah, rather, well, I don't know. We need the steel for both things, right? So like you can see the construction guys coming in here and grabbing. Oh look, did we get it? Yeah, say so as soon as we get a little steel, the construction guys come up and grab it. So, so we'll see, hopefully that'll help getting two more trucks over here. It's sort of, well, it won't hurt, right? No matter what. All right, so now, taking a look over here we're getting you know we're getting stuff moved up to to get this one going like I've said it's yeah then we have this see how slow these guys are moving it's because they just don't have enough people coming from here oh that's another thing we can yeah how are we doing are we not having a bus back up yes you know what I see people oops I see people sitting around well, that's right these guys are going to be bust so we need to find the buses that go to this guy let's shrink some of this stuff up all related vehicles so we got three buses let's send two of them to the other new bus stop right you now you got six workers yeah you know you head back this way but you have no workers all right well that'll spread out two more buses coming to here because it looks like they have well <laughs> four people but we are constructing these houses and then the other thing that's happening is this guy's doing a pretty darn good job over here yep look every time I turn around he's he's got something else paved which is good and I'm just gonna keep plugging out over here until we get I think I'm gonna do something a little different here because I want to get these railroad bridges built right before we or railroad things and get passengers in here because it's gonna be a while before we get anybody in here anyway and so let me just keep 
assigning constructions to him. Now the other side of this oops, is I want him to yeah, work on that road. And so we've been plugging away at getting our construction office over here going too. Our rail construction office is being built. And then this guy, I've just been trying to keep him with more jobs than he probably should have. Yep, this is done. Yeah, we'll let the other guy, we'll get these these things built first. And hopefully the other guy is more geared up to doing ro railroads anyway. So how are we doing here? Did we get to a point we just... Yeah, I want to send somebody... Yeah, let me just do this. Yeah, we have three. Okay, and I have that other one. Okay, so these guys should seem like they're in pretty good shape, but they've been building away. And I'm just trying to get, I would like to get this railroad completed. So I have this other guy working on here. So Itupafalu, uh Construction Office is working on this and this up here. So now the other thing is I got a comment about I should build the a car factory over here for improved logistics and I came in here and thought about it and and I really I don't necessarily agree even though we have the steel here we don't have any mechanical components like if we take a look at uh, various industry engineering industry production line we're gonna need mechanical components plastic electrical components electronics and fabric so now where a lot of this stuff is coming out of here, you know, I could be convinced to maybe build it over here, right, as opposed to over here. I don't know how much, I don't think it's going to, you know, I'm only picturing maybe putting two of these in. I know that's probably more than we need, but you know me. You know, so I could be convinced to do it up there. I was sort of looking, but the only other problem with up there, and not that it's really that big a deal, but... If we come over to, oh, oil's got its own, oh, it always had its own. If we come up to here, let's just see where the iron, see, this is a pretty good iron area. Like, if I was going to build, I wouldn't necessarily, this would be where we might even do more iron processing one day, right? Like, it seems, I, I don't know, that might be ridiculous, but, you know, you can make the same argument with right back here. So, if you notice, I sort of avoided like doing anything in this whole area because if we ever want more iron I don't want to necessarily build on top of this I could picture like right in this area like another iron processing setup and then maybe over here same thing so that's one of the reasons I ended up with like building the cars over here because when you think about it I can do like relatively easily if eventually we have our plastics up here and our mechanical components here, we'll have electronics and electrical components coming out of here. We can set up like special rail lines, even if they have to, you know, jump over other rail lines just to come right over to here, right? Does that make sense? And then the fabric can come from down there, which is just going to be kind of far away, but hopefully we don't. You know, I don't picture these being so big. So what it's really screaming out for is that we build another town in this area. And then as far as having our prefabs, I mean, they can kind of go anywhere. I would I would prioritize, you know, wherever we built the things first, the prefabs. I was only doing that because we'd have quarries here and we need gravel. But those prefabs could go, like there we'd have cement. Maybe we would actually do the prefabs near the cement, right? Somewhere over on this side. Yeah, and when I say car distribute here, by the way, I do mean we would have a, distri dis a supply distribution plus we would also, this is where we would collect up the cars and put them onto the rail system. So yeah, I think putting it in here, the other thing is like really a lot of this ground is spoken for already, right? I mean, we got hills, you know, that I would build in if we really had to, but you know, there's not much room to really put something that's this big. Where is it? You know, like, and by the time we put the support buildings and the rail in and out, 
it's it's not like it's screaming like oh i've got tons of space i plan on all houses in here we need to get enough houses to do the the bakeries to do all of this which we could do a ton of people up in these coal mines certain buildings just use a lot of people so i'm picturing like all of this being like houses along this big flat spot that's why i flattened it out so you could talk about it being over here right but then that's like worse for the flow of things right like to try to get all the supplies over to this side now eventually there might be more going over here but yeah so really to me you know this would be a good location right here but this isn't that much different right you know it's it's going to be right near a lot of things can come out of here really easily there you go so i hope that makes sense um but that is the plan with the you know with the cars I, I don't see any reason why with the trains we couldn't do it over here pretty effectively especially if i put in a few more tracks here to get whatever stuff like the electronics out if we even need them i mean there's you know we'll take a look at each track as we need it and so how are we doing here we're still building that one good so now the other thing the real thing i want to get going on in this episode is you know, the, the industry that we're close to getting fired up or closest is, is the food factories here. If you take a look, we got, you know, a bunch more rails in. You know, I kind of diverted our guys who are working diligently to kind of just wanting to call this one done, right? So even right now I can see, yep, they're running out. Now, which one are you, is this that we're not done? Yeah, usually it's yeah it's it's that so we'll just leave that one guy on there right and he'll come in and finish this oh, we got two bits of electrical track there don't we you know what? i'm going to set another guy on this one even though they're going to interfere with each other they'll that's fine I, i'm okay with that right like because then they'll one of the two of them will win the fight and if we have to come straighten them out i just want to be able to call almost all the tracks down there done and then we can this is what I've been doing, like just getting this guy. But if you look, we're oh good, we're almost done connecting that track up. Nice. And we can get to working on in here. So once this gets all worked on, you know we're going to be in pretty good shape. Now, having said all that, what we what I want to do, the grand experiment here is: can we effectively bus people, right? And the problem with the busing is like when things like this happen, well, not that, like when things like this happen where you get a jam up of buses, all the buses get right in a row. Like the reason we're running out of people here is because like what happens is this. See, one, two, three, they're all pulling in now and we'll get the maximum number of people that we probably could have, I mean, allowing for, you know, how many people you have there to begin with. And then there's no way to space those buses back out unless you just literally send them all off to the depot and then resend them back out again, which is, is not going to happen with me. I'm just going to call the buses not working that well. <laughs> so what I want to do is try to get a bus route where the own, like a road route where for the most part, the only people using that road route are the buses and that's the reason for all of this convolutedness right with all of these overpasses for these little tiny dinky things plus the fact that if there was a train parked here that's going to put the signals up for that guy so he really couldn't have it you know soon well the train wouldn't be parked there but uh, you know like every time a train went in and out it would cause problems for our buses and then you're going to have who knows what signaling problems and issues and slowness is with your train tracks. And every time that happens, it would affect the busing. And if you bunch all those buses up, these guys aren't going to run 100% efficiently. So having said that, what I am going to do is take my chances that, like right now, this is our main road, right? So I'm going to take our chances that this main road will function well enough that we could take a road from probably like right here right and attach to it with like a mega bridge like we have down there and just 
come right into here and grab some people somehow from out of here. Now, what I'm thinking of is maybe like right in this neighborhood, you know, though it's a little bit awkward, maybe yeah, it doesn't really matter because the houses would be up here. These people would be serviced by by like train this train station as far as going get their needs met and they would like live up in this region where this bus stop and railroad are about to be built. So let's see, does anything in particular, I guess it doesn't matter. We don't need to come off right there. But what I do need to do, and I think I want to pause it because there's enough bad things happen when I don't pause it. I also want to delete, well, no, you know what? We're not going to pause it. We're going to, we're going to try for, yeah. So let's start over this side and just come underneath the rail, or the, I'm going to come underneath it here, like right here, right? So now, yeah, where should that bridge start? Well, let's put up our wireframe so I have a chance of making this straight. Yeah, the, the other bridges start like in this neighborhood. So we'll just start it right here and hopefully we can get over. We'll have to see. I don't know how we're going to get over this thing. And what kind of bridge do we want? Concrete bridge, steel. We don't want to use up too much steel. Prefab. Why don't we go for prefab? I don't think we're using too many of those these days. And I've definitely learned you want to go up three, I think. And it looks like that's reasonably straight. And can I just... Yeah, let's... Is that reasonably straight? I think so. And then can we continue? Yeah, I actually like you like that. Boy, that's... Uh, let's just finish it before I open my mouth. But that went far easier than I was expecting it to. Yeah, let's turn it this way so I can see. Yeah, I was going to try to make it level, but I think something like that would even be better. There we go. Did I make it straight? Oh, look at that. That's like the straightest bridge I think I ever built. It's not straight, but, you know, it's like the straightest one I ever built. <laughs> yeah, so what do you guys think of that? All right, I'm going to commit to it. And the other good bit of news, let's see, before we go... Whoa, wrong button. Yeah, this guy... Is my paving crew more or less up this range? Yeah, we'll get him going there. Let's get how's this guy doing? Oh, good. He's getting close to done that road, right? Oh no, he is done that road. Can we? Yeah, good. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on you doing that because I want you to come over. I can't see. We got Hagio Dahl working on that, and then this will give our other guy something to do. Our our bridge builders, who's are getting should be getting close to done that. So there you go. So now, again, we're not going to be able to fire this up until we get this railroad done. But what I want to do is sort of start creating some more housing down in here. Let's turn off this wireframe a little bit. Well, maybe not. Yeah, so I want to think about exactly how I want to do that. But I do want to say, you know, this road, we probably should have a connecting road, but we should also start thinking about, do we put in another, like, let's do this. Let's go over here and take our substation tool, right? So this is 200 to go to here. So this, there's like little doubt that they'll be able to get to this one, right? Or at least we'll make sure they do. So if we were to say, yeah, like if we hover over there, they should be able to get to that. So what I want to do is go where I can see. I'm just going to plop, plop this down. Well, let's get it out of the way. Now, you know what we're doing?
I'm just going to remember right where this road ends. So let's go in here and now I am going to pause. Get a railroad track, deleting tool. Right, and we're gonna have to redo some railroad tracks anyway. And we're gonna do. Yeah, I don't think it matters which way you put this, but I didn't do quite enough. What are you doing? What's going on with that? I guess it's, I don't know. Okay, so anyway. Yeah, right in the neighborhood of where that node is anyway, right? And there. And then now, let's do the same thing again. So now it's not enough to be That, those so if there's a house right here let's yeah just on the other side of this road kind of right I'm just gonna go and take the little tiny flat brick no no don't don't attach any no, no don't attach anything you know I would say like here that house could probably get to this railroad station so then I want to come back to here. Well, you know what? We're really at the end there, aren't we? Yeah, what? You know what? Just before this road here. So let's go from like here over to here. No, you didn't like that. You don't like that either. What is going on? Now, I did get another little update, and somebody did mention that there was, of course, let me zoom in a little bit, try to get this straight. But we're going to do something else anyway to make sure it's straight. So I want to get rid of this railroad. Uh, somebody did mention that they activated pollution. And I've noticed... I have it. I ha we should have probably looked in the beginning of the episode now that I think about it. There we go. So now we have a few more of these. But, like, is it going to affect us that much? Like, at this point, I kind of have too many people anyway. Now, if it really, you know, if it really changes the dynamic, then I'll have a problem. But. If people die a little bit younger, I'm still not sure that I care, right? Until it affects me. <laughs> no offense, but this is a Soviet situation. You know, our citizens come second to the state. That's uh, it's one of the problems with the Soviet system. All right, so let's get rid of these. Yeah, now that. Why would you not delete that? Yep. And I did that just so much like the roads, it stays less nodes and makes things a little bit friendlier. All right, so this is going to be like a working loop. So this inner track is going to be is going to be the here, let's let's commit to this. So this inner loop here is going to be a working loop. And notice that I haven't managed to get anything connected to this inner loop quite yet. So we probably need to come up here. And, you know, I'm going to, this is going to be not temporary, but seldom used, right? So there we go. So now a train can get into here and we'll get them assigned to that. And they're just going to have to build all the way around in the big circle. But, you know, this this loop here, which isn't a loop yet, doesn't even have to be a loop. Like trains coming in and out on this. What I'm picturing is, is that this would be 
probably where we want to tie into here. Right? So maybe we... I need to do a little bit of leveling here and then bring it around, but I'd also like to figure out how many houses we put in where, right? So what I'm assuming, other than their school needs, and yeah, that's about it. So we're gonna have some schools up close to them, but, but all the other needs, I'm hoping they're gonna be able to get from down here, right? So like, you know, it, the, some of the trains will stop here momentarily. You know, it might not be a perfect flow, but we'll end up getting them to be able to stop at this one. Some of the people from over here, like maybe we take these two train stops. What do we got? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got four train stops over here. So maybe like two of them will be sent to this one. Now the problem is if a train stops here, the guys that are going to here will have to wait, if that makes sense. All right, but anyway. So yeah, I think what I want to do, just to give you guys an idea of what I was talking about, and let me, I, I think I want to lay it out a little bit off camera just to save some time. And you know what, we can, we can play time forward again. What I'm picturing is, is trying to figure out how we'll put houses all along here. Like I haven't quite finished leveling. So how many houses do we put? Didn't we have our marker here? Yeah, this, this building is a marker for how the furthest I'd want to be away. So what I'm thinking of is, is we go and figure out how to get people to these train stations. We'll kind of bunch them up around it a little bit, along with their schooling and whatnot. Because they, you know, there's no reason they won't be able to go to school here as well. Now we don't have schools down here, and yeah, so these people, well, they would need to be able to walk up the hill to the school at the very least, right? We need to get there. Yeah, so they'll be close enough to the school to go to the school, I think. We'll find out. We can always. Like I said, one way or the other, we're going to work this out, <laughs> even if it's not 100%. So let me go off camera and consider how we're going to deal with this and this bit of a hill. And I think what I'd like to do is get the train sort of figured out to come into here. We'll build it all together when I come back, but I think you can see where this is going, right? Like put some more houses, not so much down here, and I'm not totally worried about building this train loop, but... I want to see what we would do with with these people and it sort of all gets tied together a little bit and I just want to take a couple extra minutes to think about it so I'm thinking yeah this the people that surround this kind of are going to be there's going to be a bus stop on the back side but there's going to be some houses right in here I'm thinking but give me a few minutes like I said just enough to gather my thoughts so I'm not babbling too much on the video and I'll also go around real quick and just make sure everybody's everybody's busy working. And how are we doing on steel here now that we put... Well, we, we have steel. <laughs> so how are we doing down here real quick? Oh. Well, we have steel that they're taking out. So that's a good sign, right? So it might, it might be slowing us down, but I'm kind of okay with that until we get... Now, do we have firefighters? No fire truck. Well, we have that. We can cover that. Let's get the one that looks like, yeah, like this one. Yeah, we want the we want high speed. Yeah, this one, this one's good. Cool. Now we might have some slower speed trucks, I think, but hopefully, oh, uh, without power supply. Why? Okay, we need to work on that too. Huh? Where are we getting our we're not just planning on power coming from here, are we? No, but we need to get this built. Now those come from there too, but yeah, we're really not supply. We don't. We almost should. Yeah, we really are kind of planning on this line just getting its power from here. I don't particularly like that. So where does that go? Oh, that's just, yeah, I see. I don't have high power lines coming out of here, and I don't have, so what I'm thinking we should do, yeah, I don't want to get into those railroad tracks, but I don't think I would be, because I think we should, let's go over to railroad section, or electrical section, and I want to, 
delete that. And I want to put in a high voltage switch right here. And yeah, any of these high, well, at least the high voltages, we need to get it so that this guy will. Yeah, see, we might have just messed up the ability for them to construct this. You know what? I'm going to. Let's get rid of that and that. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of that and reattach it. All right. Let's see, can you just go straight there? Yeah. That way, I'm, I'm sure they could do the construction project. So having done that, yeah, I really want to get this guy powered up from the outside world for the in the meantime. And what is this? That's just another power line that we haven't built yet. Yeah, I need to get power... to this line here, which goes into this, which is telling me, let's cancel this a little bit, two of these, and then we're gonna put another high voltage switch, like right, that doesn't matter that much, like here, oops. What am I trying to build you right on the side of that hill? How about like right there? All right, so then these guys would get reattached. And then we'll put in a power transformer. So this way, they, at least for temporary purposes, this should be powered up, even though it's probably not the best thing. Okay, we can build that. And then I'm going to come like right into. Yeah, if I destroy that, will I be able to rebuild it? Let's see. Let's go back over to medium voltage. Yeah, let's just see. Can I get a <clears throat> medium voltage switch in there? Yes, I can. What if I turn it? No, I have to go like that way. But we don't want it this way. We want it this way. So this is just going to get... There was also a request of sorts to... Yeah, now it needs to go this way. Yeah, and that guy will go there. And this guy would come here. Yep, and that guy will attach there. So there you go. So at least we'll have, you know, it might be, quote, back feeding. I don't think it really matters, though it does in real life to some degree. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, but at least we'll get some power up to here, which should power up this guy, right? All right, so let's build some roads for this, which just need to be... Yeah, we'll build this guy... Yeah, like this. No. I thought about that after I laid it. Let's see, can we get... going to be too tight there. It's all right. There we go. So that guy, that's all attached, right? Yep. Bing, bing, bing. Hopefully we'll be able to construct all those. And then I'm going to get rid of that. And we'll just make this a dirt road for now. Yeah, sometimes the game's weird with those green. So there we go. So let's uh, go back to the electrical and commit to all of that. Kind of scary when the game decides to 
do certain things like that, right? So let's get you, we want to get this firehouse going. Can we, yep, you'll build that. I will get you to build that. Why don't you build that too? And we'll see if we can get this guy to do the other stuff. As a matter of fact, we may even I think that road's in the opposite direction. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna zoom in more so we can click on the right. We're just gonna, there was a request to auto purchase. Well, here you go. There's your, or auto build. And it's just mostly cause trying to get a road into there would be, well, I could have come around there, but I don't want to cross in the tracks anyway. So look, we're gonna auto build three times in a row more for just the, uh, we could have, we could build this one. <laughs> so you don't get three times in a row. There you go. All right, so that'll take care of all that. They'll have this. I think I'm going to cancel them building these. I don't think they'll catch on fire when they're not fully built. I don't know if that's true or not, but we could always come back to building them, right? Yeah, so don't, yeah, don't build that. And you don't build that. So we'll just have them focus on the power lines over there. And, and yeah, we're getting the episode's getting a little bit long, and I'd like to plop down some of these houses and you know get this plan going. Good, we'll get this built road built. Getting that road built. Good. All right. So let me uh, let me plop down some houses, and you know, and around this area, we'll have to get a school and all in there too. And I will. Uh, Talk to you guys in a few minutes. Okay, I think I have a bit of a plan in my head now, which is much better. A couple of things to say. One is, I don't know how much I want this to end up ever being a cut through, right? So in other words, I'm not sure that it would, but I'm, I'm pretty tempted to maybe just make like cut this off here if I have to do an overpass or something to get them into here or, or do something separate but we'll see I'm not going to go nuts with that but if it starts holding up our buses getting over there like real well then then I'll, we'll see but there shouldn't be any real reason even if there are trucks cutting through that they would really jam us up right so anyway so here's the idea I want to do something very similar to this where we have a school and a kindergarten there, right? Now we got to think about a firehouse probably down this end a little bit too. I'm not sure how far does this, well, this one actually should cover a good distance, uh, but he does, and he'll be able to come around and get in, but we can't cut them off, right? Because there is no road that goes across this at this point. So what I'm thinking of is wherever it's closest or wherever it makes sense, let's go to educational, right? And let's see, we'll put our kindergarten in first. Like say here. And let's put a school in. Kind of parallel as far as the road's concerned. There we go, we're kind of connecting up with walking paths. All right, and that should leave enough walking path distance, I think, behind these things. Let's see. If not, we'll move them again. Uh, wrong way. Can I get a walking path? No. Yes. Yes, okay, good. All right, because we want to be able to make sure these guys can get to that train stop lickety split. That, that should cover cover that, right? So there we go. So now we have the school. So now what we should do is put in a road and we'll make it the, the fancy roads, right? Yeah, let's, let's move this so it's square. All right. Now, what I did was I took and made, like I put some power plants here and this is like about 200 meters 
away from this. So I don't want to go any further and say right there and about right here with houses. And then same thing, you can see I changed it from regular road to from the fancy road, I mean, to the regular road. So now I also went down here and each one of these needs seven, 170 workers, Let's, right? Now that's per shift. So let's just assume for a minute we'll get them all in. You know what, I kind of estimated, but let's, let's re-estimate. So that's three shifts, so 170 times three is 510 times six different buildings, right? 300, about 3,000. So really would like more than that if possible. <laughs> so that means, you know, if each building that we put holds 150, What's 150 by, let's say we need, you know, let's go with 3,200, right? An extra 200 capacity at the minimum. So we'll divide that by 150. 21 buildings to keep those guys completely happy. 21 buildings that hold 150 people. So once we build the building, so what that's really telling me is I want to kind of, you know, and this is people have asked, why do you build a certain kind of building so much? Well, because they hold the most people and the more people the building holds closer to the area, the more you get in there. So let's let's start with the bigger buildings, especially in the center. Right. Once maybe once we know we can fit them all in, we'll we'll go from there. So. You know, why don't we go for like just the absolute biggest now these I think you can actually fit more in because you can fit about three of these which hold 75 which is 225 so we'll put a few of these uh, regular prefab flats the small tall ones but after we do yeah we're just going to try to jam these guys in as close as we can get them yep yeah, and you are attaching I don't really want all those road attachments, but that's too close. So we'll put another one here. That's two. <laughs> yeah, this this is a bit of a hill issue here. What I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna level that. Do we have a bulldozer? I hope just level it a little bit. Anyway, that'll help help get me a little bit closer in I think uh, close enough yeah a little bit further uh, a little bit closer in kind of parallel with that other one yep now why don't we do some ones facing that but we need enough room for a road right and that's not very uh, you know what let's put the road in even though the road will get messed up just so that we know it will work right how about right down the middle of this yeah and you know what we'll Come out to there, but then let's get rid of this little road. We kind of know where we're going now, and we'll get rid of this one while we got the tool out. And you know what? We're going to run this a little bit long so that we can attach like a side road when we get done. All right. So now those will all attach right Yeah, no problem. So we'll do about the same thing on the other side. Yep, buildings. Yeah, it was these. Yeah, we're going to go a little closer if we can. And then... other little roads in my way which is use the dangerous demolish tool but I know that we don't want to go too far too much further past that right there we go now those guys shouldn't really need much for walkways you know at that point now let's do the same thing 
dangerous demolish tool. I'll do the same thing over here. Can't build. Oh, come on. A little more level on action, I think, is needed. And let's give this guy a little, little rolly level. Yeah, I'd say when you ask me why I'd spend so much time leveling, even though you probably don't technically need to, this is why. Because you can definitely jam the buildings in a lot closer. All right, so now, uh, you know, let's do the road. I want to get rid of this road, or all of these roads here, and just put in one, one rather big construction. And this will be the fancy paved road. Try to take it right down the center of these. That's right, we're going to go a little long. Let's go a little long, because what I'm hoping, like, this, this was my area, right? We can, so what's that? That's six of them. So we're up to, yeah, six that hold how many? Because we're going to plant some more houses. Six that hold 189. So let's just say if we rounded that up to 100, or 200, I mean. So that's going to be like 1,200 people so far. So we've got not even half of what we need <laughs> at this moment. Um, so I'm going to go with some of these buildings because we can kind of, we can kind of jam them in here, right? Really, you want to build your walking path? But yeah, let's do a little level in action here, maybe. And what, we, we don't need all of the people. Yeah, why are you not? There you go. Oh, because those are walking paths on the other side. I see. That's fine. So each three of these, let's move that back a little bit, holds 225, right? A little more level on action. So, what did we just say? We had maybe 1,200, not quite that many. Plus, this will be another... You know what? I'm not going to round this. This is 225 for on each side. would be 450. Let's just say it's another 400. So, now we're up to 1,600 people. And go a little closer. I think I could pretty safely. Let's get another one in there. I don't know if that last one's too close or not. That one's, I, don't, I don't like that one. It doesn't match the other ones, right? How about this? Yeah, they're... Yeah, it's not perfect, is it? <laughs> All right, let's, let's just keep going. Yeah, so now let's do the same thing here. Ooh, ooh, I don't want to do that at all. Next thing you know, I'll be deleting buildings. Let's delete some footpaths. Same thing while we got the footpath tool out. Get rid of all these for now. We'll reattach ones where it's appropriate. Plus, I don't necessarily want them all going out to this road anyway. Alright, 
we'll get this road going again. Eh, I'm going to cheat it a little. Hey, you know what? I really don't like those. These last two. Let's just use the dangerous. The danger tool. Yeah, I want to get them a bit in a nicer row. not that they were they were just a little out of you know why not do it right that's all there we go so we'll bring this guy like right here we're gonna bring him along and we'll see what happens I think this is probably enough right for now to get going and then you know what I think we could do can we yeah I don't I don't even want to break that up so like eventually we'll put that but I think you know, I'm being a little bit conservative with my estimate, but let's get an idea. We got each of these holding 75 is going to be like 600, right? Because two, well, no, no, 300, yeah, 600 total for these eight houses. And then each of these holds, oh, what did I say, 189? So 189 times eight. Oops, that's not how you do that. So 1,500 plus another 600. So we're up to 2,100. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Now, the next thing I want to do is hopefully put a bus stop. We're going to do, let's do some lar regular, like large bus platforms. And we'll turn them this way. Yeah, that's pretty square to the grid. Let's go close to the road if we can. And then we'll go the same thing on the other side. So we'll have two bus platforms for these people to go to. And then that way, what we can do is try... We got one, two, three, four. So... We can divide the people coming to these between the buses because when you think about it, we're going to have to have a lot of buses if we're going to hope to make this work. So again, this is kind of all a grand experiment in busing, <laughs> you know, but you get the idea. Now, the other thing is, is, you know, we can try to get some more houses over here if we, you know, if people, but the problem is now they're getting far away from their bus stops, right? So hopefully the, as it is, these guys aren't too far. I don't think they will be, but. I think once we get it built, that'll be 2,100 workers. And I think that will be, you know, will be in pretty good shape as far as that goes. Now, just as I was making the video, uh, Nee commented on, I don't know if I mentioned this, but they did, and I'm pretty sure I did, but they improved the rail construction, I don't know, really a lot of the construction offices. See where you can, well, these don't store materials, but a lot of the things that store materials now, you can empty the warehouse. So the other thing is, it seems that they've gotten it to the point where it doesn't overflow at all. Like I haven't had to come in here. Remember we were having those problems for a few episodes? So we're in pretty good shape now as far as like not overflowing goes. Now we're not in very good shape over here because it looks like we don't, well, we have extra steel, but we don't have enough gravel. So why don't we have... Well, we got plenty of gravel in there. Why are you not storing more gravel? Are you out of power or something? No workers? Hmm. All right. Well, we'll have to look at that in the next episode because we're out of, kind of out of time. But So we sort of have this isolated group here that we can, you know, one way or the other, we can isolate them to this road if we need to, right? Because, like, we could always, well, we can do something and still get... The, one of the debates is how do you get the fire coverage in if you completely isolate them, but we don't have to completely isolate them. We just have to make it like not a preferable trucking route <laughs> if it even starts causing problems. So let's not create problems where we don't have them, though it is nice to try to, you know, to try to anticipate issues that you may have. So, so there we go. So we have a little, little town started for our bakery workers and we need to get a, you know, some stuff done. Like I said, the other part of this experiment is 
you know, if we send them down here to, to go to these different stores, you know, I'm not even sure how well that'll work with the trains, but we're going to find out. So there you go. Well, as always, I hope you have enjoyed the episode and, you know, I will probably play time forward and I will definitely turn off the wireframe for a while now and I'll start getting some things assigned. And when I have a list of a list of things to, to do, we will come back for another episode. Otherwise, the main focus is going to be getting this rail construction office going and just you know, I think that we're going to focus a bit on getting the food going because if we come over here and look, uh, no, not there. There's our economy. What did we do? Well, let's do last month. So in the month of April, you know, we imported 30, 132,000 uh, rubles worth of food, and then I shouldn't have shut that off. Let's do last month again. And then how about over here? Well, coal. So we're going to deal with the power plants. But that was also one of the reasons, by the way, I was plugging away at building these. Now, let's see. Something else. Did we get enough? Building is without power. So I don't know if we're going to get any workers up here or not. Or if it's just too far away to get them. So I'll try to keep an eye. Yeah, I see we're building our power stuff. Well, good. We're, we're building stuff. We're just... Now we're having steel supply problems over here now. Anyway, it's time to go. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day, and I will see you in the next. I should should just pause the time so I don't keep talking, right? There we go. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.